Now, Bestie, I love cash stuffing, but cash stuffing can be quite perilous and it can leave you with some problems. And the main problem is that sometimes in your home you end up with far too much money. It can leave you vulnerable and can leave you unsafe. So for me, I have quite good home security and home insurance and things like that. But also what I like to do is every single month I grab my binders all together and remove as much money as possible and put it into my bank. The benefits are twofold because I get to accrue interest in my bank accounts and I also feel a lot safer and that is exactly what we're doing in today's video. Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals, welcome to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira and on this channel we talk about budgeting, paying down debt and saving up for the life that you truly deserve. If that sounds like something you'd like to watch please consider subscribing to the channel because we do have a lot of fun over here Bessie. We really really do. So yeah, in today's video we're going to be having a look at everything that's in my binder. Now a quick thing that I need to tell you is that today I've been filming a ton of videos and I have filmed a lot of cash stuffing all the way through November so you're going to see me way further on than what you might have expected but in the shorts and the extra videos and all the little bits that I've got planned for you everything should start making sense so I think it's time Bessie that we go ahead have a look at what's in these binders and start taking some money to the bank because Bestie there's a lot. Hi besties, we're here. It's time for cash consolidation. I've got my stunning, beautiful cash tray and I've got a couple of placeholders all in different styles. I've got old styles, new styles, digital downloads, all sorts. I don't know how many of these I'm going to be using because I removed so many last time we did this, but there's a lot of hundreds there. And um, some of my binders are extra beefy. So let's go ahead and get these consolidated. Starting with this one, we have this. Uh, this is just for my normal sinking funds. So we only really look at the first two and Carmenas has 300 in it. But if I remember correctly, there is a 250 placeholder in here. So I could, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swap these with something off screen and get a 10. So I've got a 10 there. So I think that's probably the best thing I can do really. Um, because I don't really want to use three placeholders when I could just have one. In here, 35. So there's not going to be an opportunity for me to do anything with that. That's as small as it can be. Uh, what is in the rest of this one is uh, my money that I need to cash stuff ready for next week. So I've got all of that. That's fine. That'll stay. Let's move over to the next one. So this is the bad boy and um, here we are. I've filmed a couple of different videos um, already which you're going to see. So you'll see these have like a little bit more money in than they normally do uh, but I'm mostly going to um, not do anything uh, with them um, because uh, because I'm not really, other than swapping those two fives. Um, so in tattoo, I should have 350 already. And I got 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. So I'm gonna put 20 there, take a 100 placeholder. Uh, and that should mean that I've got 350, 450, 550. Ooh, should I? If I, 550. Hmm, do I want a 500 placeholder? I think I do. I think I do actually. Two tens. So if I, that's 350, 350, 450, 550, 560. If I put that in there, then I can get a 500 placeholder and then 60 back. Yeah? So, I've now got, oh, how much have I even put in? Uh, 575, 575. So let me just work that out. Okay, moving over, it's time for fortune. I will uh, typically leave the cards, uh, the coins in there. So we've got 60, 75. And actually, I don't think I can make that any smaller. Obviously, fortune is new, so we're not really going to have much in like the new challenges um, as they are. So that's going to stay as it is. But in the 6K challenge, I know I've dumped a ton of money in already. And if you remember, 
last week, I had put in 1,100 already. So I should have 1,750, 850, 1,950, but look at all of this. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 120 there. Let's just recount that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Oh, no, no. That's not right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, 110, 130. So we've got 130. So if I take out that 30 um, and then I put this in, that's 100 placeholder there. So 100 hundred so what I should have now is seven eight seventy one thousand eight fifty nine fifty two thousand and fifty so what I might do is use that and that and put them back so that makes it a bit cleaner doesn't it like look how nice these look wow so 2050 and 30 so looking pretty good right next is a 2k challenge and you will see on an upcoming video that i completed this so watch out for me doing that so there's 1500 750 850 and this should be 150 which i know it's not going to be because there's a five there for some oh there's two fives right so 20 40 60 80 1 20 30 40 50 so 150 is going in which means that this is now complete so because this challenge is now complete, and I'll show you the back as well, I'm going to remove it. And that's what it looks like. This challenge, um, I think I started like July last year. Like it took a really, really long time to have it done. Um, but it is done now. And uh, if you want to see the moment where I complete this, you need to stay tuned to the shorts coming up because I definitely uh, uh, appreciate people watching those. But this is now done. So that's another challenge knocked off the list. So when we review it at the end of the year, like it's another thing to tick off the list. So I'm really, really pleased about that. So we're done with this binder and this binder is getting very, very low. So soon um, you'll see me just refresh my binders and get them ready for the next year uh, so that they align with my goals. So this one's done and now we're heading over to the big boy. Now, if you have ever seen a binder grown with stuff, this is incredibly heavy i know i could remove the coins but bestie they're so so useful um, at the moment so i'm probably not but what i'm gonna do is just investigate the notes and see where we're at so first of all we've got 25 in here and that's fine the way it is um it's gonna give me the opportunity to sort of like move them around and stuff like that in here we've got 25 i'm gonna swap the two tens for a 20 and there's that see if you look at these they're not like done at all but the having the pound coins in there is really really handy so if i roll like a nine i can just swap it out so this is 10 20 25 30 35 so i know i could just move this and get a 20 and this is like the point of consolidation for me, just to make the notes as small as possible and to get as much to the bank as I can. But um, these pound coins are unrelenting, absolutely unrelenting. So 20, 40, 50, 60. So let's swap that there. So excited, right, 400. So have a look at this 20 40 50 60 70 so i'm just gonna swap this for this which is now still 70 and uh, you're gonna see over the next couple of weeks um me getting absolutely bullied and dominated by the pink percentile die so you'll see there's a lot of money in there soon so uh 5 10 15 20 30 
50, 70, 90. So I think I can do a 20 out of this and I can. That's 90, that's almost ready for a placeholder. The, another reason why I wanna keep the dice in, uh, the coins in as well, is because I can only take them to the bank. The, the post office are really funny about coins. So uh, I don't want to have to drive to the bank. Right, okay. This is the 20-sided uh, dice. And this, I think I'm gonna be putting a placeholder in here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 90, 110, 130. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. So first placeholder going in <laughs> of today's video. So that's 100 and let's find a 100 placeholder. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. But the, um, I'm actually gonna have to turn this around here so I can see and you can see. Uh, because I'm leaning over this. Look at this wadge of money that's coming out. I've been brutalized in this area the last couple weeks. Um, so we've already got uh, 300 pounds of placeholders in already, but we are about to do 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 470. Right, so what's the best placeholder? Four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think I can do 450, no, 750. So if that's 300, right? 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, no, two, four, six, eight, 400, two, four, six, eight, 500, two, four, six, eight, 600, two, four, six, eight, 700, 20, 40, 50. Is that right? Let's double check that again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 1. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 3. 2, 4, 6, 8, 4. Ah, I was right. 450. So 450. 550, 650, 750. So if I put all of this in and I get a 750 out, which I believe is green. Yeah. Oh look, there was an, oh, oh no, that was right. <laughs> so seven, 770 we're at. So we're almost halfway through with that one. Let me just write that down before I lose where I'm at. Okay, so we're done with this one. She's still just as beefy as she was in the first place but at least i have taken out the scary notes so i've got my trusty calculator so we put 50 pounds into tattoo 100 pounds into the 6k challenge 150 into the 2k challenge and 550 into the four and a half k challenge which should leave us with 850 so Two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two, two, four, six, eight, three, two, four, six, eight, four, two, four, six, eight, five, two, four, six, four, sixty. No, oh, let me count that again. Two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two, two, four, six, eight, three, two, four, six, eight, four, two, four, six, eight, five, five, sixty. So it's five, sixteen plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, a hundred and seventy plus five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, a hundred, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, hundred and twenty, eight fifty. Perfect. So that's done. So I've got my back to bank. I'm gonna take all of my money here, take it back to the post office because they'll just put it in my bank immediately. Uh, they're really, really good like that if you have a post office near you rather than your local branch. And I'm gonna take it back there and we are going to digitally stuff this into my sinking fund. So I'll see you back here in a sec. Hi besties, how's it going? I'm about to sort this money 
like seriously the office the studio is a mess so if i can ignore the cardboard boxes so can you so <laughs> Let's just do it. So I've just moved the money into my account here and I'm gonna sort the payment here. So I'm gonna click on sort payment now. And here's all of my stuff. So uh, it's just an easier way to do it than what I have been doing. So first of all, we are putting 50 pounds into tattoo. So let's do that. That leaves me with 800 pounds. 100 pounds is going into 6K. So let's just put a hundred pounds into there. Uh, into 2K is 150. Uh, let's do that. And then into four and a half K is 550, which is what we've got left. So where is 550? Ah, uh, this one here, 550. So that is done. So uh, now I've got nothing left in the main account. Just sorting it now. It's done. Congratulations, you've reached 2,000 or goal of your 2K. That's done. But talking about um, that, so now that the 2,000 2K challenge is done, this is in a pot that doesn't generate any interest. So what I want to do is uh, remove all of that. So I'm gonna withdraw 2,000, withdraw 2,000, and then the pot is empty, so I'm going to uh, archive it. So that means it's gone. So now I've got 2,000 uh, available. I'm going to pop it into this one here um, because it's got the most interest. So I'm just gonna add 2,000 into there and then I can um, do well with that. So maybe I just need to rename it. 4K, 2K, and 4.5K challenge. And that's at 6,890. So um, that's looking really good in that part. Um, 6K should probably move into there as well. Should I do that? Let's do that. So we'll draw 2,050. We'll draw 2,050. Done. Archive the pot. I mean, it kind of doesn't make sense. This is why I have things in like loads of different pots, right? Because I want to know where it's all coming from. But at the same time, I really want to uh, reap the benefit of uh, having interest. So if I add 2050 and then I rename this pot again. Oop, doing really well with that one. 2K. So let's go 6K. Okay. All right, chill out, Monzo. So this is the 6K, 4K, 2K and 4.5K challenge. So now the 2K is done, the 4K is done, the 6K and the 4.5K are being done and it's at 8,950. Probably need to change the goal. So 6, 4 and 2 is at 12. So it's 16.5 is the goal. Is that right? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's not the goal. That was 1,650. 1, yeah, 16 and a half. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so I kind of made a bit more sense of the pot. So now what I've got is my car maintenance at 250 and I will need to go and sort out a car uh, maintenance thing. I need to get a thingy. Water's been paid, so that's empty, but I've got some cash building up for the next one. Floaty is still in cash. Tattoo's at 500. I've got 95 pounds in referral bonuses, and that's when you join the link down in the comments. Uh, you get a fiver and so do I. So that's that really good. Uh, I've made £402.96 off like earnable money from ads this year and Jake owes me £349.45 from our holiday in Greece. But then over to my investments and savings, I've got my emergency fund which is at 5969 and that has just been like gaining interest. Simon and Gracie at 509 and that's something I need to work on next year to get another £500 in there. And then the 6k, 4k, 2k and 4.5k challenge is £8,900 140, which is probably about halfway there. 
And then I got £10 in the 200 envelope challenge where uh, I've got £3 in interest. So looking really good. So I'm really, really glad that is done. But I'm just about to pass you over to probably one of the most attractive men I've ever met. So take it away. Hi, guys, guys, and all about us. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. What do you think of today's video? I mean, I love doing these, but <laughs> I think we need to talk about the elephant in the room. This, this is too much. I cannot even describe, how much does this weigh? Let me just look. 1,022 grams, she's over a kilo. That's absolutely wild. I think I'm gonna have to get some coin bags or something and yeah, I think I have to do something like that. That's wild. Thank you for getting here, but an extra special thank you to the channel members and the patrons who make all of this possible. I truly mean it when I say, without you, I would not be here. Patrons get exclusive content, sneak peeks, and significant discounts off my Etsy store. So if you'd like to join them and support me over on Patreon, please take a look at my link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie. That's all we have time for this month. But until next month's cash consolidation, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And Bessie, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.